All right, guys, so I'm making this little video out of kind of necessity or kind of what I felt like I should do after my last video. I made a little video showing uh, fixing up a drying rack I have for my wool clothing. And I had a lot of comments saying wool's great for winter, and people were saying, yeah, wool's great, but they were all saying for winter. And I wanted to kind of destroy that myth. It's actually great for summer and winter and everything. I wear what, what they have is called merino wool. It comes from a certain type of sheep from these uh, sheep or goats uh, from New Zealand and Australia usually. And it's very soft. This t-shirt is merino wool. It's softer than cotton, dries faster than cotton, wicks better than polyester. Basically no synthetic or fiber or cotton can come close to it for any type of temperature. So we're not talking about the sweaters that you got from your grandma when you were young that were all itchy and stuff. This stuff is soft, it doesn't bother you. And like I said, it's better than any fabric out there. It dries quicker. It doesn't smell ever. I mean, if you wear it 10 days in a row, of course, anything's going to smell. But it has antimicrobial, antibacterial, antifungal properties. And why polyesters and cotton start smelling is bacteria starts growing, and that's actually what's smelling. So this kind of combats that a little bit naturally. So um, you can, you know, if you're out camping and you wear it two days in a row, it's not going to be all that bad. It dries super fast, and it's also naturally not wrinkleable. It doesn't wrinkle very easy. So when I go traveling, I can bring a couple t-shirts and I can wash them in the sink. This is hair. It's an animal's hair. So I actually have a little, uh, I have a shampoo type that I use, but I'll bring a little bottle of it, wash my clothes in a sink. You hang these. You don't dry them in the uh, washer because it can hurt them. They're a little bit, uh, they're not super fragile, but they're a little more fragile to washing machines and dryers than like cotton or polyester is. So you wash them in the sink and you just hang them up either like over your bath uh, your bath rod or another drying area. They dry out real fast. They'll be dry by morning to wear again. So I can travel with two shirts, two pairs of underwear, two socks, and you know, two pairs of pants and just wash my clothes and dry them overnight. So I just wanted to go through, since people said winter, I love wool in the winter as well. And I have lots of wool winter items. You know, I got these hoodies that are kind of like a mid-weight. I could wear these, they're both the same thing actually, just different colors, but um, basically just hoodies here, and wearing one of these over a t-shirt, a wool t-shirt like I wear, I'd be good down to like 50 degrees with just that, um, but I do have thicker ones as well, this is a full zip, so kind of a coat one that's a little thicker, hoodie as well, so you can cover your head if you need, and just a little thicker. And then I know you can't really tell on camera the thickness of all these, but this one is really thick. This one with a t-shirt, maybe a, a thin long sleeve shirt as well, I can go down to like 30 degrees. When I was out helping people uh, in the blizzard, I was wearing basically three layers, a t-shirt I think, a long sleeve shirt, and this, and I was good down at like 30 degrees. So it's great in winter, we know that. And for pants though, I'll also go over this. You know, I almost always wear these pants. I also have a pair of merino wool pants, which I really love, but these have lots of pockets, so I tend to wear these more. Long underwear. I never used to wear long underwear as a kid, but long underwear is awesome. You wear them under a pair of pants, and you're never, ever cold. It's just your, your legs stay warm. If it's super cold out, you can wear thicker long underwear, or I'll wear a pair of night pants. These are 100% merino wool night pants. And I can wear both of these under my current pants without it looking baggy or anything. Really great, never cold in winter. And these things wick better than polyester. They wick better than any synthetic fabric. So you never get wet. It, you know, it, it dries itself really fast. It wicks really good. So no matter if it's winter and you're doing some strenuous activity and you're sweating a little bit, it's going to keep you drier in the summer as well. Socks will go too. My socks, again, are all merino wool, and some people, when they think about socks made out of merino wool, or wool, they'll think of like thick winter socks, and these are kind of a middleweight sock, and you know, they look fairly thick, and I have some thicker ones as well, I got actually a good amount of socks, but they also have summer ones, these are kind of like running socks, they got a little padding, so they're kind of thick, but then they have these ultralights, and these ultralights, I know you can't tell on camera, but they're super, super thin. And they're very comfortable, don't smell very quickly or easily, feet never get hot, feet never get wet, and you take off your shoes and stuff and your feet usually don't smell because these, they just are better at antimicrobial, antifungal, all that stuff. So you just 
they stay nice smelling. Then if we go over, uh, this is one more example kind of for winter, this is a super super thick um, long sleeve shirt. So in winter, I know it's hard to see how thick these are on camera, but it's really thick. It's like a sweat, it's a really thick sweatshirt. What I'd usually do is wear this with a t-shirt over it. So I basically look like how I do now, just with a long sleeve t-shirt coming out. Stay super warm. Just with this and the t-shirt I have on, I'd be good just like I said with the first ones, down to like 45, 50 degrees. Now if it's like 55, 60 degrees, this is a really thin long sleeve t-shirt and I have a few of these as well of different weights. You might not be able to see, I'm trying to show you it's thin by seeing if you could see through it at all. It's super thin. And I would wear that again under this t-shirt. And if it was like 55, 60 degrees out, I'd be fine with just that. If I did get cold, I'd throw on a hoodie or something, but it really helps keep you warm even though it's so thin. And then the last thing is summer. Talked about summer socks. Underwear, you don't really change throughout the year, but again, my underwear are merino wool as well. And again, pretty much the best clothing of all type. I've had the best underwear, best socks, best shirts. For summer, they have a couple different types. I have 100% merino wool shirts that are thin, very thin. And then I have these, which are Icebreakers Cool Light. And they're like 67% merino wool and some bamboo and tinsel and other fibers. And wear these t-shirts in summer. This is what I wore all summer when it was 100 degrees, when it was 80 degrees. Never once did I have a wet t-shirt. Never once did I have feel hot or anything from like excess you know, water or anything in my t-shirt. They wick better than polyester. They're better than anything I've ever worn in the summer. So just wanted to go through like a few different items in my clothing because people were saying, you know, wool's for winter. But it's not. I wear it year round and it's amazing. These t-shirts are the best t-shirts I've ever worn. And, you know, I'm not a clothing expert, but I've worn t-shirts my whole life and uh, this is the best thing I've ever worn. Also, I kind of try to keep a small amount of clothing. Um, I'll show you my drawers, actually, the, all the clothing I have. So all the clothing I have is in these six drawers. And actually, it's mostly four. This is like uh, clothing I don't wear much, swim trunks, uh, shirts that have holes in them or, or had some problem. This is clothes that, like socks and stuff, I use often. This is just extra underwear and socks that I don't even touch. It's I, bu I bought too many socks and I could probably live off these socks for the next 10 years. Here's my short sleeve and long sleeve shirts with no zippers or anything. And then these are all my hoodies and uh, kind of full zips and hoodies. Then my pants, one pair of fleece lined jeans. These are coriander and merino wool lined. These are 70% merino wool pants and then some more night pants and stuff. And I think I just went through them all. So that's all the clothing that I have. I'm gonna put this camera back. And uh, it's really nice not having tons and tons of clothing either. Since my clothes are so easy to wash, I know you might think hand washing's hard, it's not. When I take a shower, I put the clothes I was wearing the day before, or that when I took them off to take a shower, I put them in the sink with the, with the shampoo. When I get out of the shower, I wring them out, hang them, and that's all I have to do. It takes an extra minute to my shower, and my clothes are dry. Don't have to wait for the washing machine. Don't have to wait for the dryer. I just hang them, and they're ready next time I want them. And then also, I don't have as many clothes. I just wear the good things that I like. So, you know, if you're someone that needs to wear completely different outfits every day for work or something, and you think that's a big deal, well, you could do that with this. You just might want a few more items than I have. Um, Basically, I wear, you know, this shirt I have in like four different colors, and that's what I wore all summer. And uh, it's real easy. Don't have laundry sitting all around my house, and I wear the best stuff that I can wear that provides the best wicking, the best, you know, summer, the best winter, everything. So I just felt the need to make this video because of how people were commenting, uh, saying, you know, wool's good for winter, but, you know, I live in Texas, and it's not good in Texas, or whatever, whatever. So I want to say there is stuff out there. A couple brands I'd recommend is Icebreaker. That's what most of my socks, most of my shirts are from. Minus 33, I also really like. I have a lot of shirts from there. Um, this hoodie, which I wear all the time in winter, is minus 33. 
Uh, and then also Wooly Clothing makes pretty good t-shirts. They, they don't have a ton of items, but they got t-shirts, underwear, socks, a couple pairs. Socks, I definitely recommend Icebreaker. I really like Icebreaker socks. Um, so the main three I could think of that I bought most of my clothing. Most of it's from Icebreaker, um, but those other two are good too to take a look at. So, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see y'all later. And Dred, you were in the way, so I had to just make the bed all messy and let you keep sitting there while I made this video. <laughs> Alright guys, so, if you have any questions, let me know. We'll see y'all later.